Hello researchers, welcome to Biomed Graphs. Today I will teach you how to draw mitochondria. First, you need to select the ellipse tool. Create an ellipse. Select fill. Then you need to create a gradient in which the inner part is darker. So here you go to window, gradient tool. And first select a black and white gradient. Then change it from linear to radial. And then from your swatches, drag the orange that you want into this small box here. Oops, I forgot to select the object. That happens sometime. Remember to select your object while dropping the color. Yeah, there you go. It works. Then we need the inner color that is darker. And I will choose this darker orange and drop it in here. For the outline, I use 1PT with a gray that is K80 gray. That you can see it here. Okay, and well, we need to adjust the gradient distribution a little bit. So if you select the object and click on gradient tool and move your cursor over the gradient, then you can see the gradient is a circle, which is not very fitting to the ellipse that we have. So to fix that, Move your circle to this black dot, hold it, and drag it down until it fits the ellipse that you have, and release it. There you can have a gradient that fits your shape. Okay, the next step is to create the matrix of the mitochondria. To do that, we need pencil tool. Pencil tool allows you to draw a regular shape, and with the pencil tool selected, I in this tutorial, I'll just trace the example to save time. You can draw freehand shape with pencil tool like this. It's really quick, very organic. And you don't need to worry too much about the shape so far because you can adjust it later. Now I have my mattress ready. I'll move it all the way here. Paste it on top of the ellipse that we have. And we need to change it into the pale orange that uh, the example has. So with the fill selected, click on the orange in the swatches and go to color window. Again, if you can find it, go to window and open it and click on color guide. And here you will see the gradient of your uh, then here you'll see the gradient of the orange that you chose. And I will select the pale, I w and then I will select the palest one, which is this one. If you want to further refine it, you can select it and uh, just move it around to fit the shape as the way you want it. You can select the rec selection tool. Then you're able to edit individual anchor points. So here I will start to refine it a little bit. I will skip this part to spare you some time. So one part about the refinement is that you will notice some of your uh, outlines are uh, very angled and we don't want that in an organic shape. So how can we fix that very quickly? So with your direct selection tool selected, and click on the anchor point that you find it too sharp. And go to here, convert selected anchor points to smooth. Then it will smoothen it for you. And uh, for to adjust the and to adjust the groove of your outline, you can pull on these handles while selecting your anchor point. So here I will make it way shorter than it used to be and also adjust this part a little bit here so by holding shift you can select multiple anchor points to fix them all at once there you go and here you see there's a loose end which looks really ugly and you can just click delete and then it's gone and i think there's there should be some loose end like that yes exactly uh, the thing that I wanted to fix. So with these disconnected lines, there will be an opening to your shape and we don't want that. To fix that, 
uh, hold shift, select both anchor points, and then go here, connect selected endpoints. Then you can have a complete and closed outline. Then there you have it. This is the mitochondria in the nature publication style. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials on creating graphic abstracts, welcome to subscribe my channel. Also, feel free to let me know what other structures you would like to learn in graphic abstracts. You can leave them in a comment and I will create the tutorials for you.